next we have as I said the metal parts um, so we're starting off with as per usual with my old favourites tin bits and all the metal parts get a coating of this that's the swords with the um, what is it again? Skeleton Tomb Guardian. So it's swords. Got a coating of this. I think that's really it for this for metal. Just his swords. I don't think there's anything else. Um, he's got a few bits of bandage by the look of it, so I'll go over that in white. just to break up the creamy corner of the uh, bones and that's that bit done and now the final sword and the pommel Oops, I've just gone over his hand. I'm going to have to go back over that with bleach bone, but I can do that a little later. Not a problem. I think that's everything. No, we missed a bit there. That's okay. That's okay, that's done. Finally, answer the spear tip, lance tip, whatever thing of a, a coating of this, whether it be metal, around the edge of the shield. I'm assuming would be like a metal. Oops. Try hard not to go on the actual face of the shield. I've just realised I've got I've not got my right glasses on, so I can't really see what I'm looking at. To be honest, everything's just that little bit blurred. But never mind. I'm not doing anything of major detail, so it's uh, it's okay for the time being. And finally, the chainmail that is on the flank of the horse. Jobs are good, as they say. And the okay, I think that's oops, nope, he has a he has a shoulder piece of shoulder armour which I will go over and that I think is it Okay, I'm happy with that. So 
But the next thing, while that is drying, I'm going to go over the bandages on the Skeleton Tomb Guardian in the white, as I said earlier. That's white scar. So it's just basically to break up the. Actually, I don't like bandages. That one is, but the others don't seem to be. They seem to be uh, like a bracelet, a metal bracelet. So I will go over them with the tin bits. Not quite. Not quite finished as I thought I had. <laughs> Never mind. So set the tin bits out again. And we have that one there. And we have that one there. There we go. Um, we have that one on his upper arm there. And finally, we have this fancy one here. Okay. Next thing we're going with is Rune Fang Steel, and that will be going on the spear tip, like so. Don't be tempted to make sure all the tin bits is covered. You want some of it to show through. And you also want this on the chain mail on the back of the horse. We have taken, I've put some on the brush and taken most of it off. Um, I want it a very dry brush this so it doesn't go into any of the um, dips where the tin bits is. There we go. Um, the moulding of that side hasn't been incredibly well done but it seems to be all flat as opposed to the left hand side, side as you look at it now ok so that's that done and next all the blades of the swords again don't be tempted to uh, just cover it straight on the way over leave the tin bit showing through you just want to add that hint of the steel colour not paint it fully steel alrighty then that's that what I'm going to do now for something completely different is with Draken Shade or Draken Hoff Nightshade I'm going to go over the bandages or the bandage on the wrist of the skeleton
and I'm going to go over the wrappings on the lance. I'm saying the wrappings, I'm sure I don't know what the actual thing's called. Sure it must have a name, but not a clue what it will be. Um Okay, next thing we will use is Dwarf Bronze and this one we'll be using for the rest of the metallic colours. So we just get a little bit on our brush, load it up, scrape it all off and then on his Piece of shoulder armor. Bring it on. Saddle we're going to do in Rhinox Hide. In fact, the rest of this we're going to do in Rhinox Hide. So it's the saddle, all the straps, What was it called? Suppose horse. Suppose equestrians will actually correct me on this one. Is it all called tack? On the strappings and things that go on the horse. The whole the saddle on and the uh, everything else. Tack is a word that seems to be in my head at the moment if it's regarding this. I'm not, a, I'm not an equestrian, never been on a horse, I've had a ride on donkeys at beach when I was a kid but that's about as far as it's gone. And there we go, that's the shield done, the saddle done, well, the saddle almost done, it's just I think now um, um, the odd strap here and there and then the horse oh, I'm going to say then the horse is finished but it's not I just need to then highlight everything and then it's finished Okay, so anything underneath doesn't need highlighting because, well, let's face it, you can't see it terribly well. It's just there. I'm trying to see if we can get to paint. That's it. And finally, that bit there. There we 
we go. <clears throat> Hypnotic spirit done. We've got the skeleton. Um, what's it? What's it called again? Tomb guardian done. It's just the final bits of the. Um, skeleton lancer to do now and then that's it so I'm looking for one particular colour which I've just seen which is the old fashioned snake bite leather and we're just going to go over the high points of the saddle Then that is almost it. There we go. So we have three figures done already. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more to go. Okay. So there we have it. Hypnotic Spirits, Tomb Guardian, and Skeleton Lancer. So that's uh, one quarter of the box set complete. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.